Stamp the wax. <laughs> yeah, two breakfast nipples, cheese, and lemons. <laughs> How did I get into beatboxing? Uh, my dad played many, many instruments, um, but it really wasn't a specific reason. It was when a, f a friend of mine, uh, we were just walking down the road, uh, and started to make some sounds. Um, it wasn't anything good, anything meaningful, but for whatever reason, there's something about how you could do anything that really appealed to me. Um, and it was only when uh, I actually started getting more of a groove and realizing, hold on, I actually want to dance to this, that I could make my friends dance, which then made small stages making people dance, and then obviously the progression to making more and more people dance. That's always my drive, as opposed to making crazy sounds that make people go, oh wow, that's really weird. Uh, interesting sounds that I can do. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a few. Uh, I'll, I'll show you two. There was one, like, obviously my sound's much more aggressive. So uh, I always call my beatbox things like mouth production. There's a few sounds that I've dis discovered that um, I use all the time. There's one which is the most obvious one, which is like an LFO, which is like a wobble. So it's like... <laughs> which is one. But recently I've discovered that I can harmonize with myself. So what I can do is I can take two notes and isolate them. So you have a uh, note like... And, and together is and what I can do now is uh, control both of them independently so make one go down and one go up so if you listen carefully and you can play that back and forth a few times on the clip and, and, and check uh. Anyone, like I said before, anyone can make the sounds, and that's, that's part of it, but what's much more important is the composition, is like where you put them and how you place them, and that depends on your personal taste. So I've, I've developed the sounds, and when I stop listening to other beatboxers and start thinking, hold on, what do I actually like to listen to? That's when I started actually having a show. Um, and for me personally, I like high energy, like... I get mosh pits in my sets, like that's the energy I'm going for. Uh, so it all comes down to personal taste, but for me, I discovered uh, high energy beatboxing. Whoa, yeah high, uh, yeah, high energy sound through my beatboxing. <laughs> My beatboxing's taken over my art recently, but um, one thing I realized a long time ago is that if you, can, if you can see what you're hearing, you hear it a lot better. And obviously it works vice versa. But next year, uh, you'll see um, what I'm working on at the moment is, is a full AV show. And it's just like me, it's not computer-based. It's actually happening, it's literal. Uh, so you'll be able to see my beatboxing through... Actually, I'm not even going to tell you. I'm going to keep it a secret. But yeah, next year, the Reaps One visual show is a massive part of what I do. The visual element is a huge part of my life, just as much as, as the beatboxing and the audio. <laughs> In full next year will be the Reaps One UK tour with, with the AV show. So uh, definitely keep your eyes out. There's a lot of, uh, lots of cool things bubbling underneath. But um, yeah, for the moment, there's lots of crazy, weird sounds. Yeah. <laughs>